Hey, what up YouTube? Cousin Mike, TWT Bulls, here in Black Mountain, Hemlock Haven Frenchies. We got Pip, it is dinner time, and we're just gonna talk about some basic uh, training stuff. Uh, you know, some of the key essential foundational things that if you're trying to have a well-behaved Frenchie who's not, you know, uh, tearing the place up, getting into all kinds of uh, mischief and being loud and obnoxious, you know, these are things that we need to establish early and often to help kind of curb that uh, drive because, you know, Frenchies get a bad rap. Everybody thinks they are nuts, like the old memes, the Frenchie I thought I was getting versus the one I got. Well, I got news for you. You know, Frenchies are as trainable and as smart as any other dog I've been around. You know, I know it's easy to train shepherds and shelties and working dogs, but it's a whole nother to try and deal with something that is can be stubborn, uh, but also has a high drive, but is also very much built to please and to be a very close companion. Good girl. So what we're gonna do today, and we're eating dinner here with Pip, uh, I hand feed her with all meals because I feel it is a great opportunity that can be missed out where we can work on some of these essential things. Most notably is eyes contact. So when I say eyes, Bingo, she is staring, and here we go. We're gonna go for a little walk up the street off leash, and I'm just gonna keep reminding Pip to stay by me. Come on, girl. Pip's recently had uh, some videos really kind of blow up here on Instagram and YouTube lately, uh, and people are reaching out asking, you know, what do you feed them? How do you train them? Uh, and so we figured we would give you a little uh, insight today. Go potty. Go potty. Good girl. And by me. Perfect. And so we have different languages for the different commands. By me just means bingo. She is right there by my left leg and she is focused on me. Granted, she also wants what's in my hand, but that's exactly the point of how I keep reinforcing that her eye contact is what matters more than anything. Pippin. Let's go, by me. And so we're just walking up and down the street. Good girl, and as she keeps making eye contact with me, I reward by saying, good job. You know, and there's always gonna be a little distraction. We'll see how she does now. We got somebody walking up the sidewalk with us. Ah, 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 by me. Come on, girl, leave it. Good, leave it. Good girl, good, leave it. And so that was a perfect example you got to see where she is a little junkyard dog and she's going to let whomever get the business as soon as they encroach on what she believes to be her territory because that's what bullies do. So with them, you want to be the bigger bully because they're always going to look up to you in that regard when you're the thing that they can't beat. You know, what drives me nuts with bullies and people trying to train them is when there is zero discipline, zero boundary setting, and dogs are just basically allowed to sit and be as rowdy as they want. Good girl, that's good by me. Wait. Okay. And so, here we go. By me. Good job. Yes. Good girl. Good eyes. Good girl. Perfect. And so what you can do when you're working on these things, uh, I like to highlight the word eyes because it means she needs to lock in with me and in former months early getting going with them I like to use the clicker because the clicker gives them a clear distinct now uh, sound that they can associate with the positive side just like how a sweet and sour kind of balance is to have a stern no and maybe even a little flick in the ribs to reinforce the negative side of the behavior we want to reward what we want and we don't want to reward the bad good girl here we go by me Good job, stay by me. And so she knows if she starts going too fast, she might lose that eye contact with me. I, I, eyes, good girl, by me. You know, and so I wouldn't necessarily go walking with her in a ma massive crowded place at this moment. Come on, girl, by me. Because she's barely a year old, but for a year old, this girl has got a supreme intellect. She's got a very well-defined vocabulary. 
Uh, and on top of that, good girl. She's well-mannered. Uh, she is a therapy dog with me at my practice here in Black Mountain known as Strength X. Uh, and, you know, it's hard to set boundaries with people, but I joke all the time how, hey, Pippin, by me. Good girl. Here we go. And so this is just us reinforcing, and it's a lot easier when we're on the leash because then I can give a soft tug, and she knows that it's too far, too much, too strong. I'll say things like, no pulling. Good girl. And so, to recap, guys, what we're thinking. Treat's not trouble. It works a lot better to reinforce with something that they want to take advantage of that drive, but also don't miss opportunities like feeding time because they're going to be on their better behavior because they want to obtain the reward. Secondly, we got to have eye contact. The eye contact is everything. And so starting with just those two, treats not trouble and eye contact is really what we're looking for. And then from there, we can start to build things uh, where we use the idea of just keeping it simple. One word, one command. She knows what that means. Like if I were to say, pip, inside, inside. Good girl, show me inside. Come on. Pippin, inside. Good girl, go inside. Show me inside. Ah, oh, man, just when you think you got everything trained, she's being a bully. Uh-uh, I said inside. Inside. Good girl, all the way. Go inside. And so she's trying to decide, wait a minute, what is it he wants me to do? Because that's kind of where we've gotten with our training is differentiating between commands, between words, so that way she can understand and sort of work through what I'm asking her to do. Good girl, show me inside. All the way. Pippin, inside. Come on, girl. Show me inside. Show me inside. Good job, all the way. There we go, all the way. Keep going. And there you have it, little Pip, finally. But you notice I didn't give her anything until she completed the task, to which I'll come up and I'll say, good girl, good inside. Very good inside. All right, so guys, just to kind of recap, uh, you know, it's been a busy week with the puppies. We still got puppies uh, on hand, ready to go. So please feel free to call or text uh, John or myself. The number is 828-424-0101. And with that being said, we will touch base with you guys next week to give you an update on the puppies. And uh, maybe we'll get into the topic of food. That's been something people have really been reaching out, wanting to know more of. Uh, and so with that, we will sign off with our always, no one loves you like a Frenchie.